In this problem, we want to find the tension in a simple pendulum as a function of angle, and then we want to see at what point or what angle is the tension equal to the weight force. Um, we had discussed earlier that the tension at the bottom is equal to 3 mg. Now, one thing we want to make sure we understand is that the height of the pendulum from the top, or the distance from the top to here, is a function of theta, specifically the cosine of theta. So if this is some length L, this length here, or this distance from the top point vertically, is going to be L cosine theta. We can then get the velocity of the pendulum at that point based simply on the height, based either in kinematics equations or in the conservation of energy. So if we use Vf squared equals V naught squared plus 2 AD, where this distance is the vertical velocity, and this is zero, we get that Vf squared is equal to 2 G L cosine theta. Now we want to draw a free body diagram. Here we have the tension, and here we have the weight force. Now, if this is the angle theta, a little bit of geometry. So if this is theta, 90, 90 minus theta, 90 minus theta, that means that this angle in there is also theta, which means that the component that's anti-parallel with uh, the tension is going to be mg times the cosine of theta. So that's going to be mg times the cosine of theta. So now if we sum up the forces, we find F net acting on the mass. It's going to be the tension minus this component of the force, which is going to be mg cosine theta. And we set that equal to ma, where a is the centripetal acceleration, v squared over r, which in this case is going to be l. And we remember that we found v squared already is 2g l cosine of theta. So now when we look, we can solve for the tension. So tension is going to equal, if I bring this over, to 3 let's not forget about the, uh, the m here it's going to be equal to 3 m g cosine theta because this l would have cancelled out uh, this is interesting because what we get is a function of theta. So we had found earlier that the tension at the bottom is 3mg, and as the angle changes, that tension varies as a function of the cosine. So the biggest you can get would be 3mg at the bottom and 0 at the top. Sorry about the phone call. Uh, this is interesting because cosine theta is also the ratio of the distance you've fallen from the top to the length of the string. So, for example, if you wanted to know uh, when the tension is exactly half of what it is at the bottom, it would be when your height is half of your weight from the top to the bottom. Now, in this specific question, we're asked, when is the tension at just mg? So, mg equals 3 mg cosine theta, or when the cosine of theta equals one third, which occurs when theta equals 70.5 degrees. Now, I don't know if there's something more significant to that angle. Maybe somebody can point it out, but definitely an interesting problem. Thanks for posting.